Hi, I'm John Lieber, and this is U.S. Politics in over 60 seconds. First question. The Atlantic revelations about Trump's derogatory military remarks didn't seem to have much of an impact with regular voters. Will Bob Woodward's new book also be a dud? Uh, you know, the president has endured an astonishing number of body blows that would probably be fatal for any mere mortal. But what's unique about this current round of revelations is that there are tapes. And you can expect those tapes, which go right at the president's greatest weakness, which is his handling of the coronavirus, to be played ad nauseum by the Biden campaign from now until the election. Second question. How close is the U.S. to a new stimulus package, and why was the $1 trillion recently proposed a fraction of what was originally offered? Well, the stimulus package is looking pretty dead. Uh, both sides seem pretty content with their position and not doing anything, and when neither side feels urgency to compromise, neither side's going to compromise. What's really surprising about this is the president. And if the opposition party is offering you the chance to send out $1,200 checks to every household three weeks before an election, you think the president would want to say yes. But he's obviously not feeling enough urgency to agree to the Democrats' other demands, and so nothing's probably going to happen. With the thousand suspected cases of double voting in Georgia, are Trump's warning of voter tampering warranted? No, there's very little, evidence, very little evidence of vote tampering in the United States. What there is a lot of evidence for is poor election administration. And what the president's comments are doing is creating confusion and encouraging voters to do things they really shouldn't, like vote twice. This is going to be a huge issue this fall. With a surge in absentee ballots, absentee ballots have a higher rejection rate than in-person mailing, so it could be the case that the person who wins this election is not the person who's got the most turnout, but the person whose voters are best at following complicated instructions on their ballots. Thanks for joining us. This has been U.S. Politics in over 60 seconds. <laughs>